What's happening guys? This is Rival Racer back with another video and today I want to invite eight new members to my Hot Wheels Ultimate Garage um, collection and these ones are members I've gotten in the last week. I got this one, this one, this one, and this one just two days ago and I got all the rest of them in, um, I got all the rest of them five days ago. So, I got four, I got four five days ago, four two days ago. I'm super excited about them, and so I want to race them in a tournament. I figured out I had the perfect amount to do two, 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 and two, and it would work out to go down to four, to two, to one. So that would be great. So this one I got a couple, I got two days ago, the Tesla Model X. The white and the awesome, super cool rims on the car. The big windshield and that little spoiler on the back. Great looking car. Let's put him down. Here I got the Tesla Model S, right there on the bottom, it's got this little spoiler also, big windshield, pretty normal chrome wheels on there, super cool looking though. Then we got this one, which is the 69 Mercury Cyclone, there you can kind of read it, there at the bottom, yellow with orange and red stripes. GT420 right there. Super cool car. Put him down. Then I got two of these. We got two Porsche 934.5s. With uh, this, this hood. And this hood has all these little like lumps and dips. And so I was wondering what they were. So I searched it. Because it's, it's the same thing on the 934 um, Turbo RSR. Has the same things on the hood. So I searched it. That one that's right there that dips in is actually the gas cap. And the other two are simply because the engine was too big, it wouldn't fit, where little like tubes and stuff were sticking up. So instead of just raising up the hood a little bit so that they can make it fit and kind of changing the body kit of the car, they just decided to literally, like here's going flat, put a giant lump in the hood so it would fit in there. So that's that. They got these awesome, humongous spoilers on the back with this fat body kit. There's those two. Great detail on the headlights also. Now this one doesn't say on the bottom, so I had to search it. I searched the number right there, X1649, and it's called the Loop Coop. And this one used to be my brother's. It's been really messed up and dinged up. There's that spoiler. He tried to color. He tried to paint the car, and it's all messed up. But if you look at it from the top without the spoiler, look at how cool looking that is. Sorry about all the noise around me. I got a busy house today. I'm really sorry. So, we got green windshield with the yellow interior. Super cool looking car in the black bottom. So, there's that one. Now, this one is the Badlander. Great looking truck. It's got in the nice dark green color with the sunroof. It's got, um,. A rope here, and it's got these little packages and stuff. There's no windows. You can see into that light gray interior, and these tires are super cool. There's that one, and now we got the. It is a '77. Yep, custom '77 Dodge van right there at the very bottom. Dark blue with that ginormous sunroof, so you can see into that whole humongous interior in there. That orange interior. Flames running down the side with the yellow tires, orange tinted windows, super great looking van. So, we're going to do a tournament, and uh, so I'm going to put the two Teslas, the Model X and the Model S, versus each other. I'm going to put the Porsche 934.5 versus a Cyclone, the Porsche 934.5 versus the Loop Coupe, and the Badlander versus the Dodge Van. So here we go. I got my racetrack over here, and in my other race video, I when they came down here and they hit this, it wouldn't even go all the way up. But now I got rubber bands right there. I don't know if you can see it. I got rubber bands right there, so now it should work really well. So here we go. Let's scooch that over there. Scooch that over there. Scooch them all the way to the very edge, and let's start with. The Teslas, why not? Alright. Here we go. 
Model S was in his spot. Model X was in his spot. Make sure they're not touching the sides. There you go. All right, and your Model X will be blue. Model S will be red. Tell me who you think is gonna win. On your marks, get set, go. And it is blue that is a little bit ahead of red. They didn't even go all the way up because they were so close they hit each other in the middle. But blue is the Model X that is a little bit ahead of the red, which is the Model S. So, straighten this track back out. Click those back down, here we go. There, your winner, the Model X, your winner for the first race. That's I'm breaking stuff on accident. Let me move my chair on. There we go. All right, Model S, you are a little bit too slow. Model X comes out victorious. And I accidentally knocked off this thing. That's all right. Let's click it right back in there. There we go. All right. Next, we will do 934.5 versus the Cyclone. So, here we go. This is the 934.5. Here's the Cyclone. Let's straighten them out. Make sure neither are touching the edge. Cyclone will be blue. Horse 934.5 will be red. On your marks, get set, go. And it is blue which is the Cyclone that comes out ahead of the 934.5. Now this is what I heard, these are my first 934.5 Hot Wheels, both of them, and uh, I've heard that they are slow, and so I guess it might be kind of true. Let's see, let's test it with this one too. 934.5 versus the Loot Coop. Let's reset the track. There we go. Luke, take your spot, 934.5. Too fat to even fit through this little, that little gray thing, so I gotta lift it up. There we go. Sorry about all the noise in the background again, guys. This is a really busy house with seven children in it, so. All right. 934.5 will be blue. The loop coop will be red on your marks. Get set, go! And Luke Coop wins by a mile, my goodness. All right, let's grab those. Here we go. So I guess the 934.5s are pretty slow. So let's do the Badlander versus the 77 Custom Dodge Van. Reset the track. Here we go. Dodge Van, take your spot. Badlander. All right, straighten them out. Neither of them are touching the sides. On your marks, get set, go! And it is Blue, which is the Badlander, who comes out victorious. And I actually would have thought that the, uh, the van would have won because it has so much weight. I'm trying to reset this track here. There we go. I thought the, the van would win because it has so much weight, it's so much heavier than the Badlander, but I guess not. So, let's do Model X, the winner of the last one, versus the Cyclone. Here we go. Cyclone, take your spot. Model X, take your spot. All right, Cyclone will be red, Model X will be blue. On your marks, get set, go! And it is blue, that's the Model X who comes out victorious over the Model S. Let's go over here real quick. All right, I mean not the Model S, comes out victorious over the, Cycl the Mercury Cyclone. Let's put him there, put the Model X like that. Badlander versus the Loot Coop. You set the track. Oh yeah. All right, here we go. Loot Coop. Badlander. Straighten them out. 
On, okay, Badlander will be blue. Loop Coop will be red. On your marks, get set, go! And it is, oh, blue a tiny bit ahead of red, which is the Badlander up here. Barely beats out the Loop Coop. Loop Coop, you gave him a run for his money, but he still came out victorious in the end. So, here we go. Loop Coop, you're back here. Badlander. And Model X will go face to face in a final round. Let's grab them. All right, here we go. Badlander and Mercury Model. I mean, not Mercury. Badlander and Tesla Model X. Let's reset. Oh, I already did. All right, straighten them out. Now this is the main event of the evening. These two cars. And the final race of Badlander in the dark green color with the sunroof. Tesla Model X in the white color with the humongous sunroof. <laughs> and that nice spoiler on the back. <sighs> Tell me in the comments right now, who do you think is going to win this last race? You can, you can take into consideration the weight, the height, the way the wheels spin, the way they've been racing in the other races against all these losers. So you tell me, who you think is going to win? Leave a comment. Alright, Badlander will be blue. Model X will be red. On your marks, get set, go! And it is blue. The Badlander beats out the Model X. Was not expecting that finish. The Model X weighs so much more. I thought that he had it for sure. But I guess he does not. The Badlander, incredible finish. That was a close race. So, huh, that was a lot. I'm moving around. There we go. There is our winner. All right, let me set this down. Here we go. Here he is. The Badlander. Awesome looking truck. So, even though that all these guys are losers... We still need to add them to our Hot Wheel collection, our Hot Wheel family. So let's grab them, just like this. Let's grab the other ones. Now I'm dropping them all over the place. Alright, there we go. There's the cycle that I dropped. That's all eight of them. Alright, so I already have their places designated. For them to go. Oh, Badland was trying to escape. He wants to race again. <laughs> All right. So we got the two Teslas. They will go right in here. This Tesla Model S will go with my other two Tesla Model S's. I got a blue one right there and a gray one right here. He's gonna go right smack dab in the middle. There he is. Straighten him out. All right, and the Model X, who was the runner-up in the final race, got second place, but second, as you know, is just the first loser. He'll go right there, right the other Teslas. And then we got the Porsche 934.5s. They will both go right in here. Neither of them even made it past the first round. They are just too slow. Which I heard they were slow. So there they are. Right there. The Mercury Cyclone will go right next to my Lamborghinis. Now if you haven't realized, I have these alphabetized by company. So there's like Ferrari, Ford. There's another Ford. There's a um, Impala, Infiniti, Lamborghini, Mercury, Nissan, Nova. You know, all that kind of stuff. So they're all alphabetized. So that's how I'm organizing them. I got my Dodges up here. My That's a Chevy SS. There's my Dodge Chargers, a Dart, and now added to the Dodge family is this 77 or custom 77 Dodge van. Come on. All right, my camera's not wanting to focus. That's all right. 77 custom 77 Dodge van. And then this guy I'll just set right here cuz I don't got room. So if you like this video, like and subscribe, leave a comment, tell me what you think, tell me what you want to see, and I'll see you next time.